So, according to this, I just walked three hours and 11 minutes, 9.49 miles. This is the entire route. As you can see, I walked around the entire bay. So I started over here just south of the information center where I'm currently parked just north of Tecolote Creek. Walked all the way around this way, all the way over to SeaWorld. <laughs> this was where I ran into a dead end because that's the border of SeaWorld and there's a fence right there. So I had to turn around and go back this way. I almost turned around and came back to where my car was parked, but decided, hey, what the heck, let's see how far it is. How far could it possibly be? So I walked all along there, took a couple of photos of, let's see if I got the photos in here close by. That's not it. Let's go to photos, images, camera. So I thought I'd take a tour <clears throat> Excuse me. First picture I took was of this sign over by SeaWorld. Man, it's not going to let me go through them. Scroll. I want to scroll. Let's see if I can find something that will let me scroll. Photos. Okay, so. This is where I ran it right before I ran into the dead end. And then I took a couple of photos of the signage along the bay <clears throat> before turning around. That's where I had to turn around, right there. No trespassing. Then I took this huge panorama picture of the... Oh, look, it's going to do a panorama. This is the panorama. Oh, there's the fence. So that's where the dead end was. And that goes back to where the car was. So then I took a shadow selfie because I hadn't taken one of those in a while and I love to take shadow selfies. Then I took a long range picture of the USD campus. And this one is of the parking lot, the empty parking lot at SeaWorld. So this is along the path uh, Friars Road, SeaWorld Drive. Roller coaster of love. Then I saw a sign that said 48 1. So my car is somewhere over there. I walked all the way around the bay around SeaWorld, and now I'm crossing over one of the Ingram Street bridges. So my car... So let's see, along the route, that's right about there in front of SeaWorld before I went over the Ingram Street bridge. Then I crossed over to Ingram Street, and unfortunately I had to go... I wished I had seen this thing through Campland. My kids used to vacation at Campland with their mom. I didn't realize it, but I could have walked straight through there. But instead, I didn't want to hit another dead end, so I walked around. Then walked over past the high school, past the golf course, and all the way back around down on Mission Bay. So that's the whole route. Take a snapshot of that for posterity. And the video, of course. Let's get back to the photos. So this was over. I stopped and uh, had a conversation with another teacher who was taking a walk, but he's only been in San Diego for 13 years. He teaches PE at the elementary school level over in City Heights near uh, Derek's place actually at three different elementary schools. 
this was a really cool building over at the north end of the area where I used to play basketball on the beach on the bay called Kendall Frost Marsh. And this is the sign in front of Kendall Marsh. There's the camp land on the bay. That should bring back some memories, at least for the kids. I saw one of these bikes and considered maybe getting the uh, code for it and whizzing my way back, but decided not to. Mission Bay High School. Current logo. And this is the golf course next to Mission Bay High School. This was over on the bay where you can rent stuff. $125 an hour for one of those boats. Yamaha Wave Runner. $110 an hour. Woohoo. This was over on the bay also near that same area. Ken Sawman Sawyer the third, nineteen sixty to twenty twelve. Lived life to the fullest and left us a legacy of laughter, love, and compassion while reaching teaching all of us how to play. Inspiration to his family and friends and boot campers who joined him every Saturday at this site. Oh, that's cute. And these are the swings. This should bring back a couple of memories. <laughs> higher, higher, higher. Boy, they sure seemed a lot higher. I think they took this, those ones down in the middle. Remember all the times we came down here and played on the swings and that was your favorite this should bring back a couple of and there's the hill we used to play king of the hill on or roll down something where was it that one no that's the same one that's the playground that's the little overhang thing by the bay and that's a screenshot of my trek so now I can finish it I'll bring this back up. Finish. Share this to Twitter. Maybe later.